any tips for experience, Lolita? This is a new question. Yeah. Usually yeah. I ask for, what would you say to newbies, people who want to start, but yeah. you're an experience, Lolita, and I think it would also be interesting to hear. Yeah, that. and I think like we talk about new Lolitas a lot as a community in general. Like there's, there's, a, there's an offer new Lolitas already. And I think that's something that was mentioned like when, when whenever the topic of having a Lolita panel at a convention comes up. Like you need your panel, it's interesting to have a Lolita one on one because you get to new people, but how do you keep the ones who are already in the fashion and know the one on one? How do you keep them interested? Um the one thing that I can say is experiment and that can be interpreted however you want. So whether you just decide, okay, I have this piece already in my wardrobe and that one what happens if i put them together try that because worst case scenario is doesn't work no one knows that you're mm -hmm. just doing that at home you might take a picture to remind you that it doesn't work but no one knows that until you share it it's just for your knowledge and and it might mean asking someone maybe to do a style swap mm -hmm. or if you could try someone if you have a good lady friend maybe have try the, one of their dresses in a different cut because maybe you'll realize that it works better for you than you realize mm. and maybe maybe it will confirm that that cut is not for you and now you know for the future so if even if the print is gorgeous that cut is not for you so it will require altering or you'll skip it altogether or just yeah just like have fun and experiment and try new things because that is how you grow and it doesn't necessarily have to mean that as a hardcore goth you now have to experiment with Sweet Lolita. If you don't want to, that's fine. Yeah. But there is still so many different ways you can take just this one sort of style of gothic Lolita and make it look different and still make it you. So yeah, just try a new hairstyle, put random things together, see how it works. Maybe if there's like a prompt challenge online, I enjoy that because they really make you stop and think outside the box of like, okay, so how can I do a coordinate that fits this brief? And that's a good way of experimenting and trying new things. And again, if it doesn't work out, you don't have to share it. And it's just there for your information. Unless you do it on the internet like me. And <laughs> yeah. Like, eh. Unless you do it that way. But even then, I think if it doesn't work out and you have a good community on your Instagram or your YouTube or your blog or whatever, people will come forward and say, well, that one might not have worked, but maybe if you did this, mm. like experienced Lolitas can still learn from concrete. I think that's another thing. Like, mm. like, wherever you are in your Lolita fashion journey, be open to concrete. It doesn't necessarily, like, if you don't want to explicitly ask for it, you don't have to. And I respect that some people don't. But if someone, as long as someone is polite about it and says, would you be open to to some concrete and then to some you know subjective opinions you can listen to them and then take it or leave it mm -hmm. but being open to that and then being open to try new things whatever they might be that is how you'll you'll grow and you'll learn to you'll either learn to love your style more or you'll learn to ha incorporate more things or you'll learn even more what doesn't work for you and sometimes that's just as important. I think so, yeah. By trying different things, you might actually refine your own style by Absolutely. knowing... Absolutely. Oh, I try this. I usually love to try different things because yeah. it's out of your comfort zone and yeah, absolutely. discovering new things. But most of the time it's just to... That was super fun, but that's not for me. Yeah. But actually that means that I prefer this, this, this. And yeah. I feel like, like you, right now I'm at a place where my style is so kind of narrow and I know exactly the colors I want, the cuts I want, everything and that's so much easier mm -hmm. to make coordinates to buy stuff. Yeah. It's not that I don't want to try things outside but I feel so much better yeah. about the easy stuff than now yeah. I can try different things and feel more confident than just let's try yeah. that, I don't know what I'm I, doing. I know what you mean because that's something I know that I sometimes stop myself from trying new things if it means I have to buy them mm. because there is that thing I, I don't when I buy stuff for my Lolita wardrobe, I always buy with the intention of keeping. Mm -hmm. It's whether the piece is just something that I've always wanted or whether I, you know, I think that it'll work and I intend to keep it. It's because of this, I very rarely sell. 
because there's very few dresses that I'm my heart can part with <laughs> or that I feel like I could get rid of and maybe replace easily. I'd rather replace something with a better version of it than mm -hmm. completely get rid mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. But I'm very much open to experimenting and trying new things by doing a style swap or if I'm modelling at a fashion show, like I got to model, I was very lucky to get to model for Triple Fortune. They put me in a long dress which I never thought would work on me. I thought it would make me look shorter because there's less leg on show. Mm -hmm. I think it was like mid calf at least. Like, like that sort of T length dress, maybe a bit longer. But then people said to me, that long length looks really good on you. And once I've finally seen pictures, because we only had one mirror <laughs> and everyone else was trying to get there, I saw what they saw. So I now know that I can expand into longer dresses and I got to try that without having to commit to a purchase and then realized that maybe it's not for me so it's like you can try new things and experiment in a safe environment without having to spend money mm -hmm. and like events are great because you can just ask can I go and try this dress on modeling is great because you you have to wear whatever they put you in um, doing style swaps and you know like makeovers is amazing because you get to try other people's things a lot of the times and maybe they have that dress that you thought, I've always wanted that, but I was scared it wouldn't look good on me, can I try that? And then you know, yeah. you have closure and you can take it or leave it. And yeah, like, if, if trying new things means I have to buy it, I'll, I will probably still stop myself. But if I can try it safely and for cheap, yeah, I'm going to do it. Because, yeah, it's all about pushing yourself and seeing what works. And if it doesn't, then I know, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to stick to these things that I know work. Is there anything that you would like to add? I think the one thing that is not talked about in Lolita often that I feel is worth reinforcing is the fashion is amazing, the community is amazing, like if it makes you happy, stick at it. But you need to remember to take care of yourself. Whether that means, um, you know, that... Um, that if something unpleasant happened during a meetup, like, you know, you might have gotten heckled by someone and it sticks with you, that you take the time at the end of the day to process that in a way that works for you, that you have some time to unwind and get back into your comfortable space and remind yourself that it's a random stranger on the street that you'll never again see in your life and their opinion is never worth more than your friends or your family or the people who know and care about you whether that means that you know please make sure you have as much sleep before a meetup as possible because Lolita fashion is tiring to wear it's, even when you're used to it you, we're still grateful to take it off at the end of the day and put on pajamas so give yourself that head start of taking care of yourself like getting enough sleep staying hydrated stay hydrated bring a water with you making sure you eat something that's not just sweets giving you a sugar rush mm -hmm. you know that physical aspect of taking care of yourself whether that means like adulting things like mm -hmm. bills before frills you know have a budget and don't get yourself into debt over fashion that's not how anything in life should work you you know this is not and this is this is a hobby that's not a necessity. You will still need to lead, to live your life and lead your life. Or whether it means that if there's anything within the fashion that triggers something negative with your mental health, and there is plenty within the fashion to trigger all kinds of negative things within you know, with your mental health, you know, reach out to people, whether that's your family, whether that's your friends, whether that's professional support, if, if that's what you need to, but don't bottle it up and don't let the negativity fester and affect your mental health even more. Like, whatever you do within this fashion, you are still an individual who needs to, well, who deserves and needs to live a life and deserves to live a happy life. So take care of yourself and then if Lolita fashion is the thing that enriches your life and makes you happy, that's all that we wish upon anyone. But if there's anything within it that doesn't or that causes anything negative, then stop and evaluate and see what you can do mm -hmm. about that. Like You don't have to cope with the negative aspects of the fashion or the community 
just because you still want to take part of the hobby. There are ways to enjoy the fashion and enjoy the community in a way that works for you.